Well, today the Football Writers Association of America announced its finalists for the 2023 Eddie Robinson Coach of the Year Award. It's an award that goes to college football's top head coach at the FBS level, Alabama's Nick Saban, Texas's Steve Sarkeesian, Northwestern's David Braun, and Liberty's Jamie Chadwell are some names that made the cut. One name that did not make the cut, New Mexico State's Jerry Kill. Yeah, question marks, I know. Now, a lot of the college football world was surprised to not see Kill named as a finalist. Kill has changed the image of NMSU football from being one of the worst programs in the country to being one to be reckoned with in just two years as head coach. This year alone was a historic one for the Aggies. Kill led NMSU to a 10-win season, its second ever double-digit win season in program history and first since 1960. Along the way, the Aggies qualified for a bowl game for the second year in a row, qualified for the Conference USA title game in its first year as a member of the conference, and and they pulled off one of the biggest upsets of the 2023 college football season when it beat out Auburn on their own home turf on November 18th. I'm not saying Kill should win the award, but surely he should have been named a finalist at least. Nonetheless, Kill has never been one to pay attention to individual accolades. He'll continue to get his team ready for its December 16th matchup against Fresno State in the New Mexico Bowl. Well, 11 players on Kill's NMSU team this year.